ExxonMobil's compressor system encountered some issues during a performance test last month as the company ramped up production. The repairs are delayed in order to observe travel restrictions including quarantine of staff to protect offshore operations from the COVID-19 pandemic. Senior Director of Public Affairs Vijay Mo on Wednesday said the problem can take several weeks to fix. So some of our key specialist technicians that are required to repair the units uh, but also must first pass through travel restrictions and undergo through this kind of two-week screening process. Um, I'm happy to say we, we do have one of our technicians, a specialist on board, and we have another person going through the screening process right now. Um, and so that is progressing. And so, that, um, you know, it, it could take a, num- a, a few, few more weeks, uh, se- you know, several weeks. Um, and so that's why we want to make sure that we minimize our, our flaring as much as possible during this period of time. Flaring is done to get rid of unwanted gas to relieve pressure in the wells, but it releases methane into the air, which not only contributes to global warming, but has a substantial impact on the environment and public health. The U.S. oil giant began to pump oil in December 2019 and was given approval to flare in the startup period until the gas compression and injection systems are fully commissioned to re-inject the gas or systems are in place to bring it on shore. Most said this issue was unexpected, but the company has now agreed to cut production in order to reduce natural gas and as a result, flaring. As we work to resolve these issues, we have reduced the amount of gas being flare by cutting crude oil production at the Lisa Destiny. Uh, the, while we always anticipate some issues when you're doing startup, you're commissioning a new system, new equipment. You know, these particular issues were unexpected and are really to, uh, we're working very hard to get the equipment repaired as quickly as safely possible. Throughout the process, we've been in regular communication with the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Energy uh, to, to make sure that they're fully up to speed and aware of everything that's happening. The company has agreed to reduce flaring to no more than 15 million cubic feet of natural gas per day. As a result, its production has also decreased to between 25,000 and 30,000 barrels of oil per day, pushing back the targeted production of 120,000 barrels of oil per day this month. Guyana was expected to receive its third 1 million barrel of oil in July, but with production cut, this timeline will be extended as it will take a longer period to reach the required amount. Guyana had its first lift in February and its second lift in the third week of May. Additionally, the company is completing the drilling of its development wells as two of its drill ships which were suspended following the implementation of the COVID-19 restrictions are back in operation. The Stanakaran and the Noble Tom Madden started back operating recently, bringing the drilling operations back to full capacity on the Starbrook block offshore Guyana. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.